Hello and welcome to FFS Lures TV. I'm Tom Moyer. Welcome to the Friday night slot. Today's show, right, we're going to do Red Signal. It's that time of year, the crayfish are out, they're colouring up. Got to be it. So, stick with it. See you in a bit. What a week. Um, hopefully, everything is working like it should. Just in a rush today, just in a rush. Um, let me know. Let me know if the audio is good. Let me know in the comments on if everything's okay. So, uh, who's in? Who's in? Right, so we got Christopher's in. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's changed. We may not get a lot of people in. Hopefully, we'll get uh, a good view Friday night. Could be down the pub. Could be there. Could be a dodgy. Uh, dodgy situation. Anyway, so we got Sean is in, Christopher's in. Uh, oh, that's it for now. That's it for now. Yeah, three people. All right, so for these three people, welcome. Um, what's been going on? What's been going on this week? We've had... Um, oh, are we, are we, are we, are we? Uh, let me just get something done for you guys. Hopefully that's working out. Uh, something's frozen there, something's not frozen on this side. Jim, how you doing? Can everyone just let me know if you're receiving um, visual? Because something's happened on this and it's not working. Good old Facebook, thank you so much. Um, right, Gaz, welcome to the live stream. I haven't seen you here in ages, so hopefully everything's good. Oh. Okay, um, yeah, what's happened? We've gone international. We were international before, but I've got um, Philippines. Sending lures out to the Philippines. But that's all down to you guys um, for recommending. So all those Facebook recommendations do work. So thank you so much for that. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome, it's awesome. Uh, Gaz. Thank you very much, thanks for that reassurance. It's difficult when you see something just freeze and you go, I'm talking to myself, talking to myself. Um, so we'll just see where we're going with it. Maybe it's just that screen. There we go, yeah, everyone's back. Cool. Right, red signal. Jason's in. Jason's in, right, so for those that haven't seen it, we are red signaling. Things are going a little bit crazy on there. I don't know what's happened. There we go, we're back. Red signal, lovely colour. Don't fish it enough myself. Um, but I'll just get on and do it. Okay, so the new plastic, as we've seen before, the only thing I've prepped so far has been the uh, vacuum chamber. And as you can see from here, it's done its job. It's got the bubbles out. That's the only thing when I shake it, it does stick to bubbles a bit more than the lure factors does but I'll get it by the barrel load now. So that's the, uh, that's the reason for it. Uh, okay, red signal. What is red signal? Well, it's, it's basically a green pumpkin brown top and red bottom, clear red bottom. Um, so without further ado, I will get my glove because that's something I always forget. Uh, we'll, go with the, we'll go with the top first. So we've got 200 mil in the jugs already and it's actually if you go on the custom lure builder it's green pumpkin brown heavy is what we do in there so that's going to be two mil or thereabouts ish in there and then the red is not on the uh, not on the custom builder but if you want a red lure drop me a message and we'll do it and the red in this is going to be the same as the brown so we should be able to 
get a good consistent viscosity between the two. Uh, and away we go. I'm not going to use the whisker because uh, I don't want to be messing about with more bubbles soon. You know, I've just taken some out. And it's not got a powder. I really only whisk when there's powder involved. But uh, yeah, we go with it. Go for it. So, as you can see there already, that's the colours that we're going to get. Now, to get the red signal bit, we're going to add some glitter. But for now, extractor fan on, glove at the ready, pinky and perky, fire these bad boys up. Might need to get rid of pinky. It's not, not healthy anymore. Just a minute to start with. Okay, right. Seeing that's going on, Let's have a look at who's who's in, who's not, who's about. Uh, oh, Ernie's in. Hey, Ernie. Sorry, I changed the day on you. If you had to watch Emma Dale last night, I apologise. Bit warm out. Yeah, it's a bit warm out, Chris. It really is. Um, I've got the window open, so we've just had a, a helicopter land somewhere. So that's probably going to take off again soon. Um, hopefully accident hopefully everyone's all right uh, probably not if the air ambulance is involved but if it does get bad i'll shut the window and we'll carry on carry on what we're doing uh, let's have a look at this other one um, okay so everything's freezing on me right now but we'll, we'll see we'll see how it goes uh sean's all good john oh john how are you doing? Good to see you. Um, Rob's in. Jimmy's in. Welcome, Jimmy. Hopefully you got your work sorted out. Hour break. There we go. Awesome, man. Awesome. I'll try and keep it to an hour so you catch it all. Uh, image throws. Right, let's get this done. Okay, hopefully this is going to kick off back into it. Is this a Friday night curse? Is it? Is this why we don't we shouldn't be doing it on Friday night? Uh, right. Unfortunately this is going to be one of those live streams. Let me know if it's all going back. We're back. Awesome. Good stuff. At least I know what to do now. Uh, I don't know why it's doing it. A bit of a pain in the ass. We'll see, we'll get there. Right, so that's just had its first minute. Obviously that's gonna be nowhere near ready. And Pinky is still going. <laughs> uh, what's been happening is I think that the fumes have now got into all the circuitry on the top microwave and it's now doing some crazy stuff. So it's, when I shut the door, it's not, or open the door, it's not turned off. Um, yeah, so I think I might have to invest in new microwaves. Okay. Um, ah, Jason's in. Out oh, good, yeah. Everyone's back. So what have you been doing? What have you been doing? Um, I finally went fishing the other day, but I just went wasping. I just had this urge to get, to, to use a drop shot and use tadpole. So I went to three locations. The first one, oh, I don't know what's up with it. I don't know what's up with it. The first location was just, it was just dead and tough. And I think I was in the spot that everyone goes to because it was the only bit that had been walked down. We've had loads of issues with netting, but you know, there's loads of little perks about, so I don't know why it was so tough. Maybe I'm just not very good. Second location, better. Um, except further upstream in Peterborough, they had uh, basically cut <laughs> so much weed, and it's coming from the Neen, which is like a really wide river coming down into one of the dikes, which is really narrow, um, and it was a nightmare. So I, I probably gave that 10 minutes before I got upset, and uh, and moved on, and moved on to the third one. Well, I had a really nice time actually, it was really good. Um, caught loads of little fish, 
ended up having to go on the uh, micro FFS. Um, but to be honest, I had more fun on the drop shot because that's all I really wanted to do, just go out and go fishing. Um, so that was that. <laughs> yeah, drop shot, you, what can you do, what can you do? But it was fun, it was fun. Had some nice fish up to like 30 centimetres, but nothing, nothing huge, but I didn't go for anything huge. Um, got so much going on, it's unbelievable. Uh, Paul, just got back from using the flukes on the surface weightless. So I cannot believe how aggressive the perch were. Oh, yeah, brilliant sport, brilliant sport, Paul. It's getting that right and seeing them. If you, there's a lure called the Bent Minnow. It's by OSP, it's bloody expensive because it's an import, but that's a hard body lure and it does the same. It pops out the water and everything else. So once I've realized that if you just mount the fluke a little bit lower at the front, it pops the top, pops the nose up. So if you actually have that hook coming in here, you're gonna get that jump out of the water as you jerk the fluke. Awesome, awesome, explosive takes. And you see them coming, don't you? It's brilliant, love it. Fishing is fishing. Yeah, it really is, it really is. Uh, Ernie had a great day's wasping with your mate, uh, settled down on a boat, cooking in the sun, well worth it, over 30 fish each, biggest about 10 ounces. It doesn't get much better, does it? It doesn't get much better. That's um, pretty much what it's all about. Okay, so we're getting there. Let's have a look at how we're doing. There we go, 340s. Uh, the bottom microwave is actually better than the top microwave. So officially, that's done. But as I stir it, I can feel a little bit extra in there. There we go, you can see that a bit better as being not quite there. Don't know why I just switched the, switched the streams. Yeah. Let's give that one 30 and we'll probably put this one back in for 10. But I will forget and that will overcook. And... 10. Good, 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 good job. Okay. So obviously red signal, awesome colour. It looks great in a frog. Um, so what I've got lined up are frogs. Frogs just down here. I've got some beetle claw, because um, that looks good in the beetle claw. Uh, Kraken and a Thang. Not sure we're going to get all of those out to 200, but we'll go. Did you all see the wrasse that Darren caught? Wow. That's, uh, I get so many people asking about uh, FFS lures and salt water that I'm so, so happy that Darren, if, if you're going to watch this, um, so happy that you caught those, that's brilliant, brilliant. Such great fish. Never caught one, never caught one. Might have to decide to go and do it at some point. Guys, <laughs> still using those floating flutes you did for me. Shh, don't tell everyone I do that. <sighs> See what happens, see what happens. I'm gonna get messages now. You're gonna hear it, it's gonna get messages. <laughs> no, that was, a, that was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. We're gonna, we're gonna need to, uh, Talk about how many lures you don't use. <laughs> um, let's have a look. Chris, for find it hard, and my, oh no, see, I was talking to you guys and I just forgot to check. <laughs> all right, we are gonna chase, we are gonna chase this all over the place. So we were on, ah. Uh, <laughs> well, we know it's cooked. We're on 370 on the red and 340 there. Let's try and get this up there. So by the time that comes out, that's probably gonna be your 350, so we don't wanna be in here too much. Then as soon as that's done, we're gonna add, add some glitter to it and uh, get it shot. 
There we go, 365. 366. Not my first rodeo, my friends. Not my first rodeo. Right. So the glitter in the red is quite simple. It's just more red. Um, it's 0 0.4 and it's about an eighth of a teaspoon per 100 mil. So there's a quarter going in. We'll give that a little stirring again. When you put in a lot of glitter, you're going to get bubbles because the glitter takes the bubbles in. But the, by the amount of time that I take to do this, we should be good to go naturally. In the other side, we're talking black and copper because that is just an awesome top side to a crayfish, I think. Right, so who, who in the comments, put in the comments, who, who uses Red Signal on a regular basis? Uh, let me know, because it, it's not a hugely popular colour. For, for whatever reason, it's not hugely popular. It's a real pain in the side to, uh, to make. <laughs> not going to lie to you, it's not one of my favourites. It's, it's not up there, well it is up there with Bam Above, in my least favourite lures, colours to make. Um, just is, just is. It's inconsistent uh, when you shoot it, but it does look nice. It does look nice. Right, now then. So that's the colour. That's a colour right there. Not so much copper. But there you go, those two mixed together. As nature intended. It has had a, uh, a facelift, you probably noticed. So if you have had the early red signal, the red was a lot more um, translucent. But I tweaked it put a bit more um, red in there and uh, and that's where we are now. Uh, let's have a look where we are. Uh, so Chris, I started on this one and then I remembered the microwave, which I forgot again. <laughs> Chris, I find it hard, your river's so small, got a lot of weed, just a few spots, but there's some nice chub in there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's worth having a go, isn't it? It's worth having a go. Um, John, early morning session, two hours, one wasp, one follow. It's not easy up there, is it, mate? Not easy. Uh, Sean's out tomorrow and Sunday, finally, hopefully, get a few. Yeah, and new fluorocarbon. It's good stuff. Um, when should we move on Monday, end tackle graveyard? Oh, oh dear. Uh, well, Jason, I know a guy who has end tackle. <laughs> Gaz, yeah, so those floating flutes you're talking about. Yeah, it was almost two years ago. I can't believe how fast it's gone. Can't believe how fast it's gone. Um, amazing, amazing company is FFS Lures. Not so great for the rest of the world, but we kept going. We kept going. Um, <laughs> yeah, Jimmy had some of those as well. Those uh, floating flutes. Find the red Jimmy in Belgium finds that the red signal works best in sunny weather. In fact, I had my PB Xander on a Belgian Xander on uh, the red signal FFS. Oh, that's probably two years ago as well now. Jeez. Uh, oh, Martin's in. Hey, Martin, how you doing? Um, It needs a new cat colour. So Martin, uh, for those that haven't seen, Martin is um, practising his fishing 
in the back garden at the moment with, uh, with his uh, pet catfish. That's, you need to do a quick um, a video on that. You need to show us how, how you're doing. Um, Stuart's in. Evening, Stuart, how are you? Uh, for, if you've just joined in, this is what we're doing. We're doing that. Keep getting that one. We're doing that. So uh, we're making it. It's creamy colour. It's red signal. We're about to check how it is on the thermometers. So let's have a look. Bit of a swirl. 3.50, 330. Oh, 3.15. Come on. Come on, 3.20. There we go. Uh, coming up, this one should probably be a little bit further down than it was saying. 3.30, now you bugger. Must be all that red. Okay, so we're going to whack the green pumpkin back in for 10 seconds. So I'll try and keep an eye on it. Uh, no, no, it's definitely red signal. Definitely red signal. Um, that was on, oh, one of the first times, one of the first times I fished with you, Jimmy, which was, oh, who do you have in the back? Wouldn't have had Neo and Freya in the boot, and we parked down the side of the canal. So I'm not giving, giving it away. It was um, that long walk up to the no fishing zone. Yeah, that was it. But on the other, no, it wasn't on that bank, it was on this bank. Could be wrong, could be wrong. Generally I am. But it's still an FFS. It's still a stick bait in Belgium, which historically aren't very good. Right, so, there we go. That was tongue in cheek, by the way. <laughs> All right, let's do uh, let's do some frogs first, and then we'll try and get. I might reheat and do a thang. Um, thangs don't like to be second. They like to be shot first because they're picky. Very picky. So, while we're doing this, see, yeah, on its way out. While I'm doing this, who's got the new blade and who's got the new, new fluorocarbon? Thankfully, we just got a delivery in. Um, so we should be fully in stock with all of it. Uh, let's do a Kraken. Yeah, it should be fully in stock with uh, everything. Uh, but let me know. Let me know. There's. I've seen a few posts recently that people are loving it, loving the fluoro, loving the braid. Um, I like it. I really like it. Uh, it's. Um, I actually took off the spool of um, Sunline Basic that I was using. And that, that's, that's not a bad line. It just doesn't compare. It's cheaper. Okay, it's, it's called basic for a reason. It is a lot cheaper. Um, import it in on bigger spools. But it doesn't compare. Um, and I, I used to do well with the basic. But uh, no, now, 100% the climax. 100%. Let's have a look. Guys, hoping to get his first Z tomorrow. Gonna be using the FFS Lewis collection. Good man, good man, awesome. How's the new wheels? How, how are they? Did, um, did it all go to plan? Are, are, you, are you getting to your Z spots um, under your own steam, or is that the bad stuff that you've been doing this week? Uh, let me know. Martin's going to see what he can do about his uh, backyard catfishing. 
Awesome. Um, <laughs> Sean's Mally. Ah, oh, just talking. I was joking. The um, the guys I used to work with out in Belgium. Um, they've got a lot of they've got a lot of breeding going on at the moment with the Mallys. And jokingly, I said to the missus, "Do you fancy getting another another Malinois Belgian Shepherd pup?" And to my absolute surprise, she said, yes. <sighs> Which is tough, because I'm so busy doing this, I don't think I've got the time to put into a Mali at the moment. Which is horrible, horrible, because they're awesome dogs. Right, the, for those that haven't, this is the facelifted red signal in a frog. How awesome is that? I mean, we've got to do the close-up. We've got to do the close-up. This is, this is where we're at with it. So there we go. It's opaque, so actually it's quite a good uh, coloured watercolour. Just grab my scissors. It's actually good coloured watercolour as well, um, but does do well in the clear. That's them on the cooling rack. Right, we said that we were going to reshoot the, do the fangs because they're a bit temperamental, a bit deaverish. A bit deaverish. There we go. So why have I changed to Friday night? I tell you, it's um, when we first started doing the Thursday mornings. Um, it was Thursday morning before I was making orders. And that was taking me to, oh, stupid o'clock in the evening. So we changed it to Thursday evening so I can actually get some orders done um, throughout Thursday. But recently, just hit hard with orders. And uh, as you know, I've had to slip on the live streams. So I figured Friday, I want to stay away from Friday because um, it's Friday night. You know, I've got stuff to do, you know, I want to go out, do this. <laughs> then realised, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do that anymore. Um, those days are, I wouldn't say they're gone, but they're bloody rare. Um, so yeah, just figured that a Friday night live stream is okay. Let me know what you think. Um, like I say, it's, it's for you guys. But I'm liking it so far. Right, let's have a look. This, these are Techie. These are Techie at the best of times. And it's all about stopping when you think you should stop. And even then, it felt good so I went with another one. Okay. There we go, and that proved it. So that red just set up super quick, super quick. Um, but we'll see how we go. See how we go. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, so Mallys. Yeah. Ah, oh. I used to do a lot of uh, BFS casting in the garden, and it was a nightmare. It was a nightmare trying to do anything with a Mally. Um, they're just a hundred mile an hour dogs. So no, so the puppy, uh, maybe eventually, we'll see. We'll see how we get on. Um, oh, so the Z's like the, the new something special. Or is it the old something special? I think they're like the new something special. I'll hook you up, Jimmy. Um, you can be my field tester for the new something special. Send out some micros as well. Yeah, let's do it. Um, 
Uh, Gaz, hoping to get spooled for the weekend. <sighs> Some people have been having real issues with uh, with the PayPal. Don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is. You know, I've, there's so many orders coming in that it's it's unlikely to be this end, and not just a PayPal issue. I've had it with a couple, I think. Um, as in, when I've been online shopping, um, where PayPal messes you about, uh, and I've had guys, you know, I've had the odd guy say, "Oh, my my lures haven't arrived," and it's like, "Well, you didn't order any." And it's like, well, "I did. I thought I did." And no, the PayPal didn't didn't do it. So hopefully you get that sort of guess. Um, if not, send me a message. I can do something for you. Um, if it's in stock, I can do it. Um, yeah, I can, I can sort you out if you having problems with the computer. Sean's so impressed with the fluorocarbon. Um, Stuart must confess disappointed when he realised it was X4, but I have to be honest, actually quite happy with it. Yeah, are you sure it's X4? Oh. Not saying it isn't. I was sure it was X8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Do, 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 do. Yeah. What can you do? What do you say? Unless I'm wrong, uh, I'll go on the I'll go on their website at some point and have a look. Um, but pretty sure it was eight. Uh, right. So, what are we? 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 What are we doing? What are we doing? Um, oh, yeah, we're getting lures out. That's what we're doing. I was checking there as well. Um, James is in. Hi, James. How are you? Oh, the van's great. All over the place. Bad stuff I've been doing is overtime. Oh, unloading those containers, man. But hopefully overtime's going to mean uh, more lure money. <laughs> Mixing. Hopefully out tomorrow evening again. Uh, going to try a different stretch to start my success early in the week. Yeah, you had a good week. It's just when you said that that um, it normally doesn't produce for you. But you had some, uh, you had some decent bags of fish. That was cool. Right. So here's Red Signal. Here is Red Signal in pretty much what Red Signal was designed for, the creature bait. So let's have a look at this one. This is the Beetle Craw. Uh, that didn't come out so well, but it's it's fishable. Um, that's obviously going to go in my box. Um, but that will never make it to you guys. So what I'll do, I'll keep them and uh, and do some more do some more just so you can see how how it is but that's how how it goes isn't it that is how the lure making goes it is what it is I seem to say that a lot <laughs> but it does mean that my tackle bag does get exponentially bigger every time I get an order all right let's give those a minute Right, where else were we? Where else were we? Oh, it's X. Okay, cool. Um, gotcha. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, more little money. <laughs> Andy's in. How are you doing? It's all good. Right, so we do that one again. Let's have a look at the. No, oh, you see. Tetchy. Tetchy when they're not first. Straight in the bin. Not even gonna look at it. Mm, 50%. This is where all the profit goes. Alright, however, 50% is good. 50% is good. It's one of those colours that. It's, it's on my stock making list, so I can use the uh, shooting star to get everything perfect. But saying that, saying that, there we go. That's it in, in a fang. 
and that's the that's the ones I'm going to keep for myself. You can just see where it's at the bottom. This is this is the annoying thing about this mold. See, there's not enough wiggle room there for any turbulence to sort itself out. So actually, it hits and goes all over the place. So you can see down here, the red hasn't come through and the brown on that side, and it hasn't. See on the bottom, so I must have pushed a bit more on the right-hand side of the injector than on the left, or had it tilted. That's why I'm making my own. That's why I make my own. Right, yeah, talking of making my own, um, haven't been on the CNC for a very long time. For a very long time. Um, yeah, it's, uh, we're there. Right. There we are. Let's see how the other thing did, and I'll open up the work yet. Again, same detail on this one, 50%. Frustrating, disappointing. But at least it's not part of an order. <laughs> Where I've got to, oh, just throw them away, throw them away, do them again, throw them away. Yeah, it's not bad, it's not bad. So you can see, straight up on here don't get me wrong they'll get bit 100 percent but not good enough to send out and no i'm not going to send people my seconds <laughs> don't want this stuff out there not unless i'm throwing it that's it have a look uh, PV perch 5 inch uh, finesse worm yeah I remember that one Jimmy that was awesome um, pucker perch was it pucker perch you said red signal there we go yeah it's a big old lump of fish that was especially where you are for those that don't know Belgium is not or in the north of Belgium, northwest of Belgium, where Jimmy is and where I used to work, it's not prolific fishing for perch. Um, I don't know why that is, Jimmy. Maybe it's the Xander outcompete them. Um, but you've had some real lumps, some real good lumps. See how that goes. And this is just to do, what are we doing again? Oh yeah, the beetle claw. Beetle claw, that's what we need to see. When are you gonna do a competition day out? Um, don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know, we need to, I, I'm thinking, there's no real point doing it now because the waters are difficult. Uh, as soon as you get lots of people on the bank, it's more difficult. Uh, I mean, the waters are difficult because of the weed. Um, I'm thinking more sort of after the frost, sort of, <laughs> I was going to say October, but the way it goes after the frost is sometimes November, December. Uh, I think a winter, winter's better for, for a day out, lure fishing with lots of people, um, just as long as we don't. <laughs> We go, don't go down the BFS group, group outing route. Of every time anything is tried to get organised, is um, it snows or it floods. Yeah, it's just bad, bad weather all the time for those things. Those things are ace. Thank you. Looking good in the thang. Um, got some beer to drink. Gaz, you take care, man. You take care, and uh, I'll expect your order soon. Yeah, yeah, so we'll get this one done. We'll get this one done. 40 minutes in. 
Wow. Wow, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Let's, um, let's get that. 12 people left. And it's Friday night. Everyone's gone. Everyone's leaving. It's, uh, everyone's missus is saying, what are you doing? What are you watching? Fishing. You went fishing today. You go fishing tomorrow. Uh, yeah. YouTube. I've been a bit remiss on YouTube, I must admit. Just waiting for that to cool down. Been remiss on YouTube. Um, haven't uploaded all the live streams. Um, just not enough hours in a day at the moment. That's what it is. Same as the CNC, not enough hours in a day to be doing this and that and everything else involved. So we're there. Water. That's how, that's how we're rolling right now. Water on the thing. I mean, Chris, will, I mean, if, if you've got time, at some point, if we can get some time, we'll just go fishing, dude. We'll just do it. You're not that far away, I think. Where are you? It's a couple of hours. I'm sure it's a couple of hours. Uh, so on Facebook, you had a workout this week, getting fit to make more lures per day. Yeah, it was, um, it was getting bad. It was getting bad. Ten years of nothing. Ten years, well, I had the dog training, but... Yeah, I always used to say to myself, uh, I spent the last 15 years fit soldier um, and I'm not being chased anymore, so why do I need to run? And then it was six months ago, I looked at myself and thought, who is that? Um, I don't know why I bleeped out the fat and not the hood. <laughs> yeah, so just got to keep, keep healthy, get rid of some of the beer weight. And that was it, I used to love a beer, you know, but proper English warm beer, full of calories, um, but no, lost lost quite a bit, so just got to get healthy, stay healthy, stay healthy, none eaten, none eaten, that's not too far, that's not too far at all, it's what, it's probably a couple of hours, same as the other, um, the other canals in the area, or we can meet halfway, that's, uh, that's doable. Yeah, we'll organise something. We'll organise something. Uh, however, I might not catch anything. I, I'm the lure maker. <laughs> the fishing gods are not always good to me, especially on canals. So, yeah, canals are a bit my nemesis, I'm afraid. Um, don't judge me if I turn up with 100 tadpoles and a tiny drop shot rod and, and just save that blank down the margin. <laughs> Yeah. All right, let's get this one done. Let's get this one done. Um, yeah, I need to get out more. I do need to get out more. But uh, I suppose that's just the nature of the beast. Getting better though. Got some more systems uh, coming in place. So with the making stock, that's coming on. Each time I do a shooting day now, I'm actually filling up the pots and I'm doing a colour. Um, generally, whatever colour is the most that's been ordered, I'm shooting the pots. Now the beetle claw, the beetle claw is one of those moulds where if you hold or give too much pressure, it goes awry and you get that turbulence, um, not so much turbulence, just too much of one, not the other. Um, and if you hold too much pressure, it ends up with some flashing. So then I have to spend extra time taking that flashing off before putting it in the packs. Um, there will be a little bit, I can't get it all. Um, but if you don't put enough pressure on, it doesn't feel complete. Um, so again, it's just, each mould has got its own characteristics. But it's a great lure. It's a great lure. Oh, I'll go you in. How are you doing? Yeah. Stuart's Lord of the Fries. Yeah, I've seen that. That's awesome. 
that's, that's awesome. Um, I, I caught some micro perch on the tadpole the other day. Luckily, I didn't swing into it like a bass master because we're talking tiny. I mean, Lord of the Rise, I gave you a run for your money there, mate. Um, but it was fun. It was fun. Um, and sometimes that's all you need. That's actually all I went out there fishing for. Um, just to get a couple of fish in the hand on the bank. Done. Right, let's see how these beetle craw turned out. I'm doing this because I'm confident. But I'll have a sneak peek first. <laughs> Not enough pressure. Look at that. <laughs> Overconfident. Which one did I do? Which one did I just open? Ah, oh, for goodness sake, Moya. Why? This is why I'll never be a millionaire. So that one, I was too conservative on. Let's have a look. Sweet mother of. This one is not going to be any good either. <laughs> this one's not going to be any good either. No. Oh my god! Didn't even. Didn't even. Right. There's our disaster. There's our disaster. Um, trust me, it looks pretty good in a beetle core. Um, <laughs> it's one I made earlier, literally. Yeah, so in the beetle core. There we go. That's the last one that's on the shelf. Um, nice and flappy. We all know the beetle core. We all know how much I love it. Um, that's it in oh no we can't even see it there we go it's all gone wrong that's 40 minutes on a friday night so that's it nice little red signal beetle craw to end end the session on um let's have a look so yeah let's let's call it there a little bit embarrassed I'm not gonna lie to you there we were making it all good hey we got we got mostly done we got most done it's been a long week it's been a long week um but at least i've got some lures to fish with um so keeping my keep my tackle box lined up and full with the best of them uh next live stream so if you've enjoyed the friday night i know we've got less viewers than we do on a thursday night but i think that's uh, that's going to be one of those things I am contemplating having a practice at live stream straight to YouTube and Facebook at the same time. I'll do some practice sessions. If you do see a live stream from me uh, over the weekend or not on a Friday, uh, it's it's just going to be a test, a tester. Um, so don't expect anything. <laughs> don't expect anything. Next live stream next week on a Friday, it's going to be a Q and A. We've got to that time of the month that it's a, it's a Q and A. Um, Ernie sent me a message uh, yesterday, so if you do have any questions, um, do like what Ernie does and sends them in, um, and get there, uh, and I'll make a note of them and we'll go through those questions. I do like the Q and A, so I hope you do too. They're um, they're pretty good. Um, you can't be 100% 100% of the time. No. Some of the time would be nice. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. Some of the time would be quite nice. Um, but that's, <laughs> that's the nature of the beast. Liquid plastic doesn't always go where you want it to go, especially when it's hot. But we'll do it. We'll do it. Ernie's, yeah, Friday's OK for you. I'm sure you, you're managing not to watch one of the soap operas as we speak, which is, uh, which is always good. Right then, everyone. Uh, I'll tell you. It's been, it's been a blast, it's been great, really enjoyed it. Jimmy needs to go back to work, uh, at least have a coffee before he gets the rest of that night shift done. So without further ado, stay safe, tight lines, ta-da, have a good one.